baseball tryouts this weekend in my town, so that means spring must be close. Yeah. Right? I mean, eventually, eventually <laughs> they'll be able to actually see the baseball diamond, right? The tryouts, by the way, are indoors. Well, that's obviously. a good, that's I mean, a good thing. You can't see the grass on the baseball fields right, right. now. Right. Well, the good news is also we're going to be doing a lot of melting right. in the coming days. This morning, it's still very cold out there, but we're going to start to trend in the right direction as the cold air starts to ease. It's looking like a third half and half weekend in a row. This time, Saturday's the beautiful day. Sun Sunday is the soggy one milder next week in general. Even our below normal days are not as frigid as what we've been dealing with. So we'll see highs mostly in the 40s and overnight lows dropping into the 20s. And that's much more typical of early March. Right now it's only 21 in Boston. That's a warm spot. We're down to 13 in Providence, 11 New Bedford, 13 Westerly. How about a cold three degrees in Willimantic? And we're running in Richmond, Narragansett and Glendale all in the single digits this morning. Newport heading over the bridges though. Good visibility. You'll need your sunglasses for later this morning. We've got dry air in place and a morning where the temperatures will be rising out of the teens into the 20s and by lunchtime at around 30 degrees with mostly sunny skies. High pressure is keeping us dry. Got a little storm system moving off the mid-Atlantic region. This one is going to be a miss for us. It stays well offshore. You just get clipped with a little bit of cloud cover. The second system back over the Rockies still not so lucky with that one. That one's going to be heading our way and affecting us on Sunday. So 9 o'clock this morning, noticing the mostly sunny skies. Little clouds on the increase and high cloud cover during the later part of the day and into the overnight hours tonight. As that first system passes offshore, notice the rain well to the south of us. Saturday morning, we're back to mostly sunny skies and really a beautiful day Saturday. It'll feel very mild in comparison to this week. The clouds will be once again on the increase, but notice at 11 o'clock we're still dry. It's in the pre dawn hours of Sunday. Leading edge of a little bit of wintry weather comes in. That rain snow will eventually change over to just plain rainfall that'll continue into the afternoon on Sunday before tapering off. In terms of winter weather impacts, you're going to notice a few hours of potentially slippery weather on Sunday morning. I don't expect much, maybe a slushy coating in the northwest corner of the state, a low risk of an inch of slush and ice, but we do wash that all away in the afternoon. This afternoon, it's not as chilly. Our temperature is low to mid 30s in Wickford, west southwest winds at about 10 miles per hour, mid 30s in Johnston, West Warwick and East Providence, and we'll be running around the middle 30s in Seekonk, New Bedford, Fall River. You're also in the low to mid 30s, not nearly as chilly as the last couple of days. Tonight, a partly cloudy night, cold and dry, down to 23 at 8 o'clock, 21 at 10, and into the lower. Uh, into the upper teens at midnight. From there, our temperatures will kind of level out. So highs on Saturday will be well, milder, mid 40s. This is normal, but we haven't seen it all week. Mostly sunny skies too. And then on Sunday, that wintry mix for early morning conditions, eight, nine o'clock. I expect us to already be transitioning over to rain. So it's a process that happens first at the coast and then inland. So in the afternoon, just a chilly rainfall. Showers end by about four or five o'clock in the late afternoon, early evening. So you may actually be able to catch that first sunrise in the uh, six o'clock hour of the season. It'll be setting with the time change at 646 p.m. So spring forward Saturday night. Notice next week looking a little bit more like early spring and a little less like the middle of winter.